Hi, welcome back everyone. So now what we're gonna do is go a little bit more into depth uh, on the Koopman operator optimal control example from this paper, Koopman observable subspaces and finite linear representations of nonlinear dynamical systems for control. Uh, again, you can read more about this on the archive. We have uh, the code for this included, so you can run this in MATLAB yourself and play around with it. And here are my co-authors. So recall that in some cases, if I have a nonlinear dynamical system, I can augment my state variables with some nonlinear observable functions of my state variables. So in this case, it's uh, y1 equals my first variable x1, y2 equals my second variable x2, and y3 equals x1 squared. And in some cases, I can write my uh, nonlinear dynamical system as a linear system in terms of these nonlinear observable functions of my state, which is really neat. And when we can do this, it's possible to develop an optimal controller using the Koopman linear system. And this is something we're terming Koopman operator optimal control. Okay, so for this uh, nonlinear system here, we've now added inputs u, and we can develop a LQR controller for this Koopman linear system with inputs so that we stabilize our system without spending too much control energy. And one of the really neat things that comes out of this is that we have this nonlinear uh, term in our Koopman optimal controller. Okay, so these are nonlinear controllers. Um, and they're derived from things like LQR on the, the Koopman operator. So now we're going to jump into some MATLAB and actually look at how we generated these, um, these figures and how we code this up using the built-in MATLAB LQR function. Okay, you can download this code yourself. Uh, it's on, it's on uh, the archive in our paper, but I'm just going to walk you through some of the steps here so that we can see, see what's happening. So the first thing we're going to do, if we were, if we were approaching this nonlinear system without any knowledge of the Koopman operator, what we might do naively is try to stabilize this system using a linearization about the fixed point zero, zero. So here what I'm doing is I'm defining a linear system. We have uh, an A matrix and a B matrix. So this is a linear system x dot equals ax plus b u a two by two linear system with a single input. And this is linearized about the zero condition. And I'm going to define a vector field here, which is a function of time, my state variable, and my control input. And it's got my linearized term a times x, plus this nonlinear term, I had this minus lambda x1 squared, uh, minus b times my controller. Maybe I should make this uh, plus b times my controller. And what we can do is right off the bat, we can develop an LQR controller here. Uh, all we have to do is specify some weights, Q and R. And Q penalizes how much my state deviates from the stable zero condition that I want to stabilize. And R tells me how much I penalize control expenditure. Okay, so here I'm just using um, this LQR on a linear system, I just create an identity matrix for Q and R is one. So I'm kind of penalizing all states and control equally. And with one line in MATLAB, this LQR command, I can build an LQR controller uh, given my dynamics A, my input matrix B, and my cost weights Q and R. And so this C function, essentially this C matrix tells me that my controller, my optimal control law, at least in a linearized sense for small deviations, is u equals minus this matrix C times x. Really simple to implement. Okay, so this is called proportional feedback control. Uh, and this matrix of gains C, this is a two by one matrix, uh, sorry, two column, one row matrix, is given by this LQR command. So I'm just gonna run these and good, we have that. Now we have that. We can go into our command window and we can type C and we can see that this is actually the, the LQR gain matrix that came out for this A matrix and this B matrix. Okay, and then I can actually integrate the full nonlinear dynamics using this, uh, this controller U equals minus CX that we defined uh, using LQR above. So I'm just gonna run this 
Good. Now we have T and X LQR, and we'll be able to plot this and see, uh, you know, what the what the controlled dynamics really look like. Okay. So it makes sense. Uh, pretty straightforward. This is, you know, basically intro controls. Um, you know, easy to do in MATLAB. But what we're going to find is that since we have this Koopman operator, this um, this bigger A matrix on my Y vector. We can also develop an optimal control law, an LQR controller, using this new Koopman A and B matrix. So I'm doing the same thing here. I'm defining A, uh, A2, and B2. Those are my Koopman, my Koopman operators. Um, and now I have a new cost weight Q2, and I'm penalizing the first state, X1, the second state, X2, and I'm putting no penalty at all on this kind of fictitious nonlinear third state y3 equals x1 squared. So this q2 really is the exact cost function that I used before, but now I'm applying it to my larger state y. And again, I'm penalizing control uh, with a unit gain. And so this turns out to be really, really simple. All I have to do is I can develop this new control law c2 using the same LQR commands um, in MATLAB. And once I have that, I can run this through my vector field. Um, I can run this through the same OD45 with my same vector field, except now I'm giving it minus proportional gains times x, minus proportional gain times you know, the third proportional gain times x1 squared. Okay, And these need to be minus signs. OK, so if I run this one and I go to my command window, I should see that now my new uh, Koopman control gain matrix C has three elements, right? So this is the first two are the same as my, my LQR on the linearized state. But now I pick up this third gain entry here. And this corresponds to u equals minus c to uh, c. This is my new c times my y vector. And so this is um, minus c1, c2, x1, x2, minus c3, x1 squared. Okay, These are the, the, the entries, the first, second, and third entries of this new, new gain matrix. And so that's why we see that in our, uh, in our integrator here, our vector field for this u slot, our control slot, we're giving it minus the first two elements times x minus the third element times x1 squared. That's exactly what we have here. And I can simulate this just like before. Good, we've run that. And now if I just start plotting everything, I want to plot the x1 and x2 coordinates for both of these controllers. And I also want to look at how the cost function evolves over time. Did I spend more cost or less cost with Koopman optimal control? Uh, and this is just a bunch of plotting commands, so I'm not going to go through that. But it brings up this nice visualization that essentially summarizes the differences uh, between regular naive LQR on the linearization and this Koopman operator optimal control on the nonlinearization uh, on this y vector. Okay, so this red dash curve is my Koopman optimal control solution. The white solid curve is my uh, LQR solution, and this is just my first and second state. Uh, and so you can see that it looks like we have a lot less um, deviation, so a lot. So our red solution kind of gets to the, the stabilized fixed point faster, so there's less deviation. Uh, and if we look on the very far right here, this is our integrated cost function over time. And you can see that our Koopman optimal controller has much less integrated cost over time than our naive linearized uh, LQR optimal controller. In fact, it's about a third as much control and state uh, penalty, which is really amazing. So, one of the reasons we're calling this uh, Koopman operator optimal control is because you're doing optimal control using the Koopman operator. But also we're finding that we're getting a nonlinear controller out. You can interpret the output as a nonlinear controller. And for this simple system, it appears like this nonlinear controller is actually uh, globally optimal in a nonlinear sense. So you can start with huge initial conditions uh, and you still get extremely good controller performance. 
So this is just an overview of how you can implement this Koopman operator optimal control if your system uh, is amenable to this Koopman subspace, uh, subspace methods. Okay, thank you very much.